Hello, y'all. This is Brush for our Wind Dragon, and welcome back to the Blackwell Legacy. I think this is where I left off. You coming? Yeah, sure. Come in! I'm a little sleepy, but I'm trying to remember what to do. Be nice, Moti. She's our neighbor. Come in! Moti! Be nice! Just one moment. <clears throat> boogity, boogity, boogity! I'm at a loss. He never acts like this. Never. It's all right. Don't worry about it. She must be doing dishes. Ah. Could I feed Modi another treat? Sure. Here, take another. I have plenty. Well, I'd better go. Take care, Rosa. Come back whenever you'd like. Where, you are, where are you, Modi? There we go. Come on, boy. Go get it. There's nothing to be afraid of, I hope. See ya. <laughs> Did you see the look on that dumb mutt's face? I thought he was going to wet himself. <laughs> mm. mean. Whoa. Hold on there. You want to go in? I got to clear you first. Do you have short-term memory issues? I'd like to see Susan Lee, please. Sure thing, you're cleared. Go right in. Hi, Susan. Hi. It's good to see you again. How are you now, Susan? Better. It's nice to know I'm not crazy. Yeah, that's a good feeling. It's just... these drugs. The meds help keep the deacon's voice low. And that's good. But they also cause water retention, and I have to take a diuretic pill to fix that. And I'm just sick of peeing all the time. Now that I know I'm just haunted and not really crazy, I don't see why I have to take it. I don't care if I retain water and get fat. I just want to stop peeing. <laughs> Is she for real? I've been palming the pills. Is that bad? I can't answer that. Well, I was hoping you could do me a favor. What? Can you take the pills out of here? I'm scared the orderly will find them. Please? Fine, uh, give them to me. You are such a chump. Thanks so much. So do you like Bellevue? It's okay. I used to come here every week. To visit my aunt, you know. Mm-hmm. I don't think she cares. Well, anyway, I'm just saying, I've spent a lot of time here. You don't have to be scared of me. I have to go now, Susan, but I'll come back to check on you again. Mm-hmm. These pills, according to Susan, are a mild diuretic. Come in! 
Be nice, Moti. She's our neighbor. Come in. <laughs> Moti, behave yourself. Booga booga. This is getting old. I... It's all right. Don't worry about it. See ya. Could I feed Modi another treat? Sure. Here, take another. I have plenty. Well, I'd better go. Take care, Rosa. Come back whenever you'd like. I feel a bit guilty doing this. Okay, I put the pills in the dog biscuit. Go get it. Oh, Moti, now? I just took you out an hour ago. Well, you're going to have to wait. I have my hands totally full. Unless... Rosa, would you mind taking Moti for a walk? If you're going to be friends, this is a good opportunity for you to bond. Oh, sure. I don't mind at all. Thank you so much. Moti gets cranky when he doesn't get his way. Just take him to the park until he goes. It shouldn't take long. Right. Here you go, boy. No leash? You're drugging innocent dogs now? It's only a mild diuretic. It won't hurt him. And you're the one in such a damn hurry. All right. Point taken. Hey there, Bright Eyes. It's me again. Are... are you him? No, I'm not, but I've brought some friends. Say hi to the kids, sweetheart. Um, hi. I don't, I don't think, think she wants to see me. Sure she does. Go on, kid. Tell Ellie how much you want to see her. Oh, um, yeah, sure. Great to meet you. See? I don't believe you. It doesn't matter if you believe me or not. She needs your help. Help? See the dog over there? The Boston Terrier? Good, good. You know your breeds. This Boston Terrier is not feeling too well. I was hoping that you could take a look at him. Uh, yes. Yes, I can. I know a lot about dogs. So we heard. That's why we came to you. But they won't let me help them. They always run away. This one won't. Go on. The dog needs you. So this is your dog, huh? Um, yeah, sort of. Hi, little guy. What's your name? <laughs> right. Are you the cutest little thing? Hmm, your ears look okay. No signs of inflammation. Now I'm just going to open your mouth. That's... odd. I don't feel any breath. I don't feel anything. Oh. I'm sorry. I remember. I'm dead. Yep. I killed myself. I had no choice. Can you tell us what happened? My friends and I, we played a game. A Ouija board. We thought it would be fun. And you called something? Yes. He called himself the Deacon. It's... kinda hazy now. But I remember his voice in my head. Screaming. What did he say? I don't know. It didn't make any sense. He just kept asking me to help him. But he wouldn't say how. I tried ignoring him. But he just got louder and louder until I took the pills and... Shh. It's over now. I know. So what now? Now? Now, we're going to send you where you need to go. Here, take this and hold on tight. You ready? 
I guess so. I feel bad Good. leaving Modi by now himself, pull. but <laughs> Yeah, you and me both. Ow. Hello? Yeah, hi! I'm not sure if we've met. I'm Rosangela. I know! You brought the dog to me! You brought me back to my senses. And then you brought me here. Thanks so much! So, are you ready to... well, you know. Am I ready to die? Well, yeah. Sorry, I'm kinda new at this. That's okay. I'm gonna make it easy for you. Just tell me what to do. Just head towards that light. The light. Right. It's like every cliche in the book. You think I'll see Joanne over there? I'm not sure it works like that, but anything is possible. Well, either way, I'm glad it's over. And hey. You'll make sure Susan's okay, right? Sure. Well, here goes. See ya. See ya. Bye, Allie. Ugh. You're awake. That didn't take too long. She just... went. She seemed happy about it. Yeah, sometimes you'll get easy ones. The ones who are all too happy to move on. Others... well... you'll see. Anyway, let's get this dog back before your neighbor calls the police. Our work is not over yet. She is so going to kill me. Just a minute. Oh. Oh, there you are. I was just about to go to bed. I'm sorry we took so long. Not to worry. Did you have fun, Moti? Did you have fun? Of course. Well, good night, Rosa. Thanks again for helping me out. Strange lady. I think she's aware of more than she lets on. You coming? Yeah, sure. Please be advised as visiting hours are now over. Oh well, looks like we have to wait until tomorrow. No can do, toots. Remember what she said? The deacon comes to her at night when she's sleeping. Waiting until tomorrow won't do us any good. What? You think we can just waltz right into Susan's room? Sure. How? Improvise, sweetheart. That's what this gig is all about. Whoa! Hold on there. You wanna go in, I gotta clear you first. I need to speak to Susan Lee. Can I see her? Visiting hours are over, miss. She's probably sleeping by now. Thanks. Just a small transistor rate? I don't think so. Some small keys. One of them is labeled FB. I assume that means fuse box. I don't think I need any of these other keys. Uh, I think I figured it out. I don't have anyone to call. Yes, I do. Apparently, that's Joey. Joey? Yeah? What was it like, staying here? Like? I was on a different floor, but it's all the same. Twenty-five friggin' years. Hovering over your aunt's shoulder, staring at the ceiling. You want to know how many cracks there were in that ceiling? Not really. Fifty-four! Or maybe fifty-five. I was never sure about that last one. How well did you know Dr. Quentin? That quack. He'd come into your aunt's room, poke her, prod her, try to get her to speak. He didn't know from nothing. I'd just as soon never see him again. 
What was Auntie's condition like? She was a rotting vegetable, sweetheart. They kept her so drugged up that she could hardly move. Which is probably for the best, come to think of it. Without the drugs, she uh, wasn't pretty. But the doc told you all about that. You don't need to hear it again from me. What happened with that radio? What do you mean? When you got near the radio, the signal got interrupted. Was that you? Yeah. How do you do it? No idea. Although your aunt never let me get near the TV during days of our lives. I'm sure there's some scientific explanation, but I have no way of knowing, and frankly, who the heck could we ask? That's all for now. Right, right. Fuse box key? I could probably do something with this. Now you've done it. You better find a place to hide quick. Locked. Whatever's back there, I can't get to it. Whoa, you startled me. You better leave, miss. I can't be held liable for your safety until the lights are repaired. I'll get the yellow. I hope you you better find a pl I don't have anyone to She's asleep. Yeah, like a baby. It won't be long. Before what? Before that. He's drinking. Please. Please. Can't you help me? Please. I don't know what to do. I don't want to burn. Please. The others are gone. You're the only one. Please! You can't hear me here, but you can hear me in your dreams. Please! Wake up and help me! Ahem. Ignore them, Susan. Listen to me. Help me. Please! Hey! Ignore them, Susan. Listen to me. Help me. Please! I'm talking to you, clown shoes. You're... You're talking to me? Yeah, so can you calm down long enough to tell me what's going on? I... I can't. You're like me. What do you mean? Dead! Like me! Wait a minute. Just a goddamn minute. You know you're dead? Yes! Well, that certainly saves time. We can help you. Here, grab a hold of this. No! Get that away from me! What the hell is wrong with you? You need saving. We're here to save you. What's the problem? I can't! What are you so scared of? You're stuck, right? We can help you move on. No! I don't want to! You don't... want to? No, I... I'm afraid! Oh, you're afraid, are you? You believe this guy? What do you want? Safety. Sanctuary. It's following me. Waiting. Watching. Trying to take me. But it hasn't caught me yet. Not yet. Yeah, whatever. This guy's off his nut. Let me handle this baby doll. I know how to speak to spooks like this. What hasn't caught you? It. It. I see it everywhere. In every shadow. 
and every corner. Why is it after me? Why? The soft touch ain't gonna cut it, sweetheart. You're too green. Let me show you how it's done. Who is after you? It! Have it for where what? He knows he's dead. We don't need kid gloves to handle this. Let me take over. Sure. Do it your way. All right, Mac. Spill. You've scared these girls literally to death, and I want to know why. What are you so afraid of? I... I don't want to burn. Burn? Oh, oh, I get it. You think you're going to hell. The devil himself. He told me. Please don't make me go. You're scared of the devil, huh? Yes! Yeah, well, I don't see any devil. There's just you and me. And you know what? I'm worse than any devil you'll ever see. Hey! I've been doing this for 40 years, bucko. Every ghost I meet goes to their final rest one way or the other. You're scared? I don't give a rat's ass. Two people are dead because of you. So take the damn tie and let's get this over with. No! You can't make me. Don't make me burn, please! <sighs> Hurts, don't it? How? Oh. Ghosts aren't supposed to feel pain, but I've learned some tricks. Now take the damn tie! Joey, stop it! You wanna handle this? Go right ahead. Let's see you do any better. You can't keep going on like this. It's better than burning. Uh-huh, yeah, you had your shot. Now it's my turn. So, are we gonna do this the easy way? Or the hard way? Please! No! What are you gonna do to me? Please don't make it get me! I don't wanna go to hell! Hell, Schmel. You wanna stop talking crap? Hey, stop! Let me talk to him, okay? You wanna handle this? Go right ahead. Let's see you do any better. I know a safe place. You can hide there. Really? Where is it? Not far, but you'll have to trust us. Trust you? Why should I trust you? Because nobody else has offered to help you before, right? Yeah. You ask and ask for help, but nobody answers, right? No. Nobody answers. Well, we have. We're gonna help you. Has anybody else said the same? No. No, they haven't. I think... Oh, I'm so tired of running. If you say you can help me, I believe you. What needs to be done? Just listen to my friend. Here, just take the tie. You know what to do. I can't believe she pulled that off. Pacifist. Ow. You're right. I feel... safe. Are you ready? Yes. I really think so. It's really nice out here. Almost like... At last, I have found you. No! What? You lied to me! What? It's, it's here! You. you lied! What's that? Oh, crap! Joey? Joey! Get me out of here! Stay away. Stay away! There is nowhere to go. You cannot return to the mortal world. You can only go through me. Accept the punishments for your sins and come with me. Help me, please. You brought me here. You have to save me. You have to. Fool, no one can save you now. I'll give you a moment to prepare for the eternity to come, but then you are mine. What is that thing? 
It's come to take me to hell! Just like it always said it would. Uh, excuse me. Converse with me not. I shall give him time to prepare himself for the eternity to come. But then, he is mine. How did you get here? What is here? It is but an abstract concept to one such as I. I move at the power of thought, at the speed of death. Once my business is concluded, I shall trouble you no more. Why are you after this man? For his sins. All this time, he has not renounced them. Even after these many years of death, he still carries them with him. Can't you just let him go? He has killed many with his madness. His sins weigh him down even as we speak. Ask yourself, does he deserve mercy? Yes? You may think so, but your heart does not believe it. You have witnessed the results of his actions with your own eyes. What is that thing? I... don't know! It haunted my dreams when I was alive, and wouldn't leave me alone after death. And now... There's no place left to run. What is that in your pocket? My flask. Yeah, what's in it? Nothing. It's just a force of habit, I guess. Used to keep whiskey in it when I was alive. So what can I do? What does he want? He wants me. I don't know why. The deacon is carrying his sins, and the deacon is carrying his flask. Could this be symbolic? Get rid of that flask. Huh? Your flask! Get rid of it! My flask? Why? Just do it! But, but I can't! Why not? Because it's my flask! You want to be free of that demon? Trust me. Well, oh, okay. You no longer carry your sins with you, dead one, but they still taint this place. That is not enough to save you. Beware, mortal! The sins this man carried with him are still tainting this place. Touch them and they will taint you as well. I am content with taking my quarry, but I have no claim on you. Take this man's sins upon yourself, and I shall be forced to take you as well. You do not want that, and neither do I. There's nothing really special about it except that it belonged to a ghost. It's kind of vibrating. It is done. The sins have been abolished from this place. And my claim on you, dead one, is gone. Move on in peace, and be troubled no more. He's gone? I think so. He's gone. I'm, I'm free of him. I'm really free. All this time. It's all so clear to me now. Like my head was full of cobwebs, and now they're gone. I... All those people who died, they killed themselves because of me. And what do you think about that? I don't know. I didn't know what I was doing, but that doesn't excuse it. I spent most of my life as a drunk, and most of my death as a murderer. 
I was worried about going to hell before. Maybe I'm okay with that now. Now that I know I might deserve it. You seem strangely happy about it. I'm just happy to know. You see, I was a religious man once. Before disease took my wife away, and I took to the bottle. If I'm going to hell, well then maybe I can still spread the word of God there. Do some good for once. Well, this is it. Goodbye, and thanks. Jesus Christ, kid, you all right? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. What took you so long? It got a little complicated. Well, I'm just glad you're okay. Let's get out of here. I need some air. I know the perfect place. He's at peace now, I guess. Wherever he is. I saved him, I think. Gave him some hope, at least. He's getting no more than he deserves. No more than any of us deserve. I guess. I really wished I could have popped him one more time. He really hacked me off. Is that your answer to everything? Don't you start judging me. You managed to pull it off. I'm impressed. I'm just glad you're okay. Joey? Yeah? Why did Auntie stop? Stop what? Stop doing this. This ghost saving or whatever it is we do. Oh. Uh, it was you. Me? She wanted to take care of you. Wanted to do it right, she said. Stop listening to me. Stop saving the ghosts. Just put all her effort into taking care of you. And then she fell into that weird coma. Yeah. I see. I guess there's a lesson in that. Is there? Yeah.
There's hundreds of confused spirits out there, sweetheart. Oh. And there's nobody else who can help them. There's just us. Bestowing eternity on every sob story out there. One lost soul at a time. Whether we want to or not. Well, I wasn't expecting to get kicked out of the game like that, but there you go, it's all done, and I had fun playing it, that was definitely an interesting storyline, and oh, that guy would not let go of his flask, like no wonder he had a demon following him, but it does seem to be just... personal to each soul the the kind of death the the kind of afterlife they get but uh well i enjoyed it and i hope you did too thank you all for watching and this is brushfire wind dragon signing off